Tyson Gaming here, and welcome to the next episode of my Pokemon Pearl Randomized Nuzlocke. Obviously, last episode wasn't the most exciting thing, mainly because obviously I got my starter and the first few encounters, and obviously established all the rules of the Nuzlocke Challenge. Which obviously, if you haven't seen it, I would definitely go watch the episode first and then come back here. And then obviously, last episode besides that, was recorded the day before Pokemon Legends Arceus, or Arceus, however you say it, was released. So, obviously I'm probably going to be talking about that, my overall thoughts on the game, because obviously I got the game, and as of me recording this, I beat the main story. I didn't do all the quests and all of the post-game stuff yet, but I still completed enough of the game to give my overall thoughts. And if you are planning on getting the game and playing it all, do not worry. I will do my absolute best to avoid any and all spoilers. It just could be my overall thoughts if I, if I enjoyed it, how, what I think of the gameplay, what I think of the graphics, that kind of thing. I won't really give away any key story points in case you are planning on playing it or are currently playing it right now. But before we get into that, obviously, if you haven't hit the like button yet, make sure you do so. And then obviously, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that as well. Because again, I plan to upload this series every Tuesday and Thursday. And I'm going to try my absolute hardest to not miss a single upload date. I can already tell you next week might be a little problematic, but I'll work it out. Don't even worry about it. And another thing is, at the beginning of every episode, what I plan to start doing is, obviously, like I've been doing in Ruby, is lay out the plans of what I plan to get done in this episode by using the town map. Unfortunately, I don't have that yet. I'm not that far enough in the game, which is why I'm here in the Pokemon Center to use this map. So now I can actually explain what I plan to do for today. So the plan for this video is obviously to get through Route 202 in the Jubilife City so I can get the actual town map, and then obviously battle any and all trainers so I can get money, and then buy more Pokeballs so then I can get all encounters that I can get. So Route 203, Route 204, and the Fishing Route of 218. I'm still determining if I should get this one or not, or save it until later. Because obviously I can get the encounter now, because they have the fishing rod right over here as well. But obviously it's going to be a low level. Otherwise I can wait to come back till I have Surf once I beat uh, the Heart Home City Gym. But obviously that's going to be a ways away to decide. So for now, let's start, let's start making our way downtown. I just want to make sure Goku is up front, which he is. Cool. And let's get her going. Alright, but yeah. And before I get into it, the only Pokemon at this stage that I'm absolutely terrified to run into would be a Groudon. If I run into Groudon, the challenge is pretty much over, because, I mean, obviously Goku is a good Pokemon, but early level, Groudon already knows Mudshot, and there's not much I'll be able to do. But, oh, we'll come to that when we get there. It's not like I have answers, two answers for it anyways, but I mean, it's just gonna suck. Alright, first battle, and we got a Jolteon. Alright, cool. Now that we got everything kind of established out of the way, let's talk about Pokemon Legends Arceus. And I just gotta say, it is an amazing game. Like, if you haven't... Oh, color change, interesting. Like, if you haven't got it at all, or considering... Oh, there goes Anchor Point, finally. Cool. So now I have plus six attack. Anyways, if you haven't got Pokemon Legends Arceus or are considering it, I highly, 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 highly recommend it. It is such a good and fun game. Like, my experience it was just top-notch. Like, I loved every second of it, and there wasn't really a dull moment. God, I am getting... All the XP. Like, yeah, like, there wasn't a, a never really a dull moment with Ar with Legends Arceus. Like, I was constantly having fun. Uh, but yeah. The story was great. All the characters were very good. Some of them obviously didn't get the screen time, the screen time that they deserved. But 
I liked them. There was no, like, really bad character that I really did not like when I was playing it. But yeah. Uh, Gameplay-wise, I absolutely love the new mechanics of catching Pokemon that you can just, you know, walk up to them, throw a ball, and it stays in. Awesome. Otherwise, you know, you just run away and try again when it doesn't notice you. I absolutely love the new battle mechanics to Edo style and Strong style. I overall just love seeing, like, the actual battle itself, and I just walk around and just enjoy the scenery. Which, by the way, the scenery, top notch. Top, top notch. Like, obviously, is it perfect? No. Like, I notice a lot of texture errors, but obviously, and that's mainly probably because of render distance, like, a piece of grass kind of kind of freak out and not really sway this way it's supposed to in the wind, like that kind of stuff, but other than that, never really bothered me. Especially since, at least for Pokemon, this is the first game of its time, of, of its not time, of its kind. So I definitely think like by the time they do like another Legends game, or at least another game in this style, they should hopefully have all the stuff kind of ironed out. But still again, like not a bad experience in the slightest. Even with that. Like again, there still are issues there and there's gonna be issues with every game. And that's just going to be a common thing, no matter what game or gaming company you go with, there's always going to be that one little thing that's going to stick out. Again, for all the quote-unquote like, issues Legends Arceus has, which, again, there's not many, and most of them are just cosmetically. Because, like, obviously if you're far away and you see a flying-type Pokémon flying around, and if it's uh, at a longer distance, It'll look like it's like its wing flags are gonna be more of a, like a slideshow, being as things go up, down, up, down with no real flow. But then obviously, as it gets closer, it fixes itself because obviously you're much closer for the draw distance. But other than that, no problems with me whatsoever. Uh, what did I think of the overall story? The story was great. I didn't 100% understand what was going on at the time, but that was just me, but I loved it. I loved all the new Hustuian, uh starters, and all their final forms. There wasn't really one that was like really bad for me, except for Samurott. Samurott's was kind of disappointing, if I'm going to be honest. But obviously Decidueye and Typhlosion look amazing. Yeah, I'm going to get that. Uh, let's see here. What else? All the uh, new inclusion of Alpha Pokemon. Amazing. Like, I like that some Pokemon can be gigantic. Uh, future editing me. Can you do me a favor and put up the picture of my Alpha Garchomp right here? Alright, cool, thank you. Like, look at my Garchomp. So big. Bigger than a build. And obviously a normal Garchomp would be more my, uh, my character's height. But that is amazing. It is so cool to see stuff like that. To see just these massive behemoths walking around or even on your team. You know, like, it was great. Probably my favorite part of the game, at least for me, is going around all the areas and, like, determining where, like, all the future cities of Sinnoh are going to be. Like, going around and, like, seeing, like, determining, oh, where's Pastoria City gonna be in the future? Or where even Twin Leaf Town's gonna be in the future? Because, obviously, you can easily do that with these towns, because, obviously, the lakes uh, existed. You can, you can easily determine that. Like, obviously, at the time, uh, Twin Leaf Town is a complete other butter and, uh, wasteland. But, obviously, yeah. Still, it's absolutely fun. Fun, fun, fun. And now I'm probably after recording this, I'm probably gonna go play more because I still have all the post-game stuff to do. And from what I understand of it, there is quite a bit left for me to do, even though I beat the game. And when, when I say beat the game, I mean like just beat the story. You know, it's it's a good good time. <clears throat> 
Yeah, great story, great battling. Uh, the ride Pokemon, absolutely like their inclusion as well. I do kind of miss the eight gems, but obviously in Legends Arceus, during the time period you're in, any uh, HMs or TMs wouldn't exist because obviously those are a modern invention. Yeah, I know. Like, obviously there are some stuff that's annoying, and that's mainly because a lot of Pokemon, when they get aggressive and they see you, they call all in their homies and they just chase you around. That's kind of annoying, especially when you're trying to, like, sneak around and catch a certain Pokemon. But again, obviously, that's realistic. Like, if an animal sees you in its territory, it's gonna call its homies and try to drive you out. Even if you don't mean them any harm. You know, like, again, fantastic game. And I know this is still, like, more of a... Kind of like a me review from my point of view. But, it's still a really good game. And, if again, if you are thinking about getting it, I... Would definitely say yes. I would definitely, definitely, definitely say yes, get it. Like, it is definitely worth it, and I am very excited to see what they'll do with it in the future. Such a good game. And I, and I can't wait to wrap up this recording and go play more of it. Oh, yes. Anyways, but I don't know if I talk to him again because I got all the coupons. Anyways, back to actual gameplay. Well, uh, cool, we got the Poketch. Now we can go get other encounters. Do I want to do the rival battle now? Is the question. Um, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna go do the rival battle just so I can get more money. Like, I think, like, the only... Well, no, I can't really talk about that, because that's kind of a spoiler for the game. Never mind. <laughs> I mean, obviously, probably, as time goes on, I'll probably talk about Legends Arceus again, and obviously, like, say, like, two weeks from now, when the game's been out, I'll probably talk about actually st actual story stuff. And what I mean by that, I mean, like, actual, like, specific stuff. And, oh, hey, that's a, uh, Pelican. That I know gets, uh, Thundershine right now. Do not have Photoshop yet? It must not. Interesting. Whisper, Saul Stan. Luckily, I'm pretty sure Goku gets Force Palm at like level 11. Or he gets pretty quick. So I'll finally have a fighting site move. That'll be exciting. Alright, cool. Rival battle's done. And then we can go back to getting Pokeballs and more encounters. $900. Alright, cool. Yep. Alright, cool. How much money do I have? 1100. That's not bad. Luckily, I can get battle at least one more trainer up here. But still, going from Legends Arceus to this just is one really weird because obviously this game is a little sluggish. And then obviously Arceus is much more smooth and obviously 3D. But it's just really weird going from that to this. Not saying this, that this game looks bad because obviously it looks amazing for its time. Obviously, AKA for its time, and obviously doesn't look that good anymore, but it's definitely not bad. Definitely not bad by any means. How many Pokeballs do I have at the moment? I have three. I want to get this randomized item. And luckily, I do have three Pokeballs just in case I do run into an encounter. Alright, cool. No encounter yet. This is a Moonstone, which I can use for a Nidoran or a Nido King later. And of course, my Connor, please be nothing good. Please be nothing good. Hey, it's just a Blissey. So, I can either catch this, which obviously, Blissey in terms of like special defense is top notch and has a lot of HP. But it's definitely not a good, like, a huge attacker. 
Um, I think I'm just gonna take out Blissey just so I can get the XP, because if you guys don't know, uh, Blissey and Chansey's give you bonus XP when you beat them. So I think I'm gonna do that just so I can get King up the par with the team. At least I'm going to attempt to do that. And hopefully not get him killed. Alright, cool. It's, it always kind of sucks when you have to give up an encounter, but I mean... Especially since Blissey is a decent mon, especially for like, online battles. But I mean, for like a Nuzlocke challenge, it's not that great. Like, it's good because it can stall while I heal the rest of the team. But I mean, at least for me, that's not my style. My style is definitely go in full force and just wipe out everything before you can get a chance to attack me. But yeah. Alright, let me go to the Mart, get some more Pokeballs. We're about 15 minutes into the recording. We're still not where I want to be. By the end of this episode, I at least want to make only buy six. Can I sell my Moonstone? Yes, I can. Obviously, it kind of sucks because I'll probably never get another one, but at the same time. But at the same time, I'm probably not going to get a Nidoran or a Nidorino. But, oh well. Um. Now I'm gonna make a decision here. Do I go get? I think I'm gonna get it now, just so obviously I can get another team member on the team. Because obviously by the time I do come back here to go get the sixth badge, I'll have obviously, hopefully, anyways, a full team of six and some Pokemon into PC just chilling there. No. Alright, first things first, I'm going to set it to register for now. I just can't remember what button that is. Nope, not that one. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Not even a nip. Come on, I know there's stuff out here because this is where you always get a Magikarp early game. So then hopefully by the third gym you have a Gyarados that can pretty much demolish everything. There it is. Alright, please, something good, because now I actually have Pokeballs, and it's a Burmy! Not the best thing in the world, definitely Blissey's much better, but at least it's type coverage. And I know it's Protect. Wait, doesn't... I think Burmy gets Quiver Dance, but I don't know if Quiver Dance is in this generation yet, or if that's a later gen thing. Never mind, I killed it. Oh, right, cuz... Oh, that's right, cuz Burmy doesn't get... It's just pure bug. It doesn't get its secondary typing until it evolves into Wormadam. Uh, once again, unfortunate that I killed my encounter, but I mean, again... Not the worst thing in the world, cuz... One, we have at least three more before we get to the first gym. One of them obviously being up here. After I get this item, PP Max, that'll be good for later. Or I could just, or I could just sell that now. Sell that now and get Google's amount of money. Um, yeah, I'm gonna sell that now because I don't think there's really any move that I'll need to like max out right away. Like, again, obviously, this is an amazing item for a late game, for, like, when you go take on the Elite Four and whatnot. But, right now, obviously, I'm not in the stage of the game where that would be useful. So I realistically don't have any moves that would be useful enough to require more power points for me to use it. Like, obviously, like, once I get Aura Sphere on the Choreo, then I would probably use it. But I'm not getting Aura Sphere until like 
surprisingly early 30s. Early 30s, late 40s. No, I mean, yeah, early 30s, yeah. Oh, um, hi Lugia. Um, hi. Okay, this is an amazing encounter. The only downside is I know this thing has Whirlwind right now. And that's its only move. So if I'm going to catch this Lugia, I need to just throw a ball now and pray that Ar Arceus uh, smiled down upon me. Yeah, I didn't even think so. Alright, so cool. See you, Lugia. Oh, that's my third encounter. I could Why couldn't I have got my tra trap in? I would have loved the flag on. I would have absolutely loved to have a flag on. Ooh, hello, Yuxi. And unfortunately, I already know that you are Bulk City. And of course, you have rest. Why would you not have rest? Spinda. Alright, let's bring in Goku, because obviously I need to train him up so we can get a fighting type move. And before you say, but yes, counter, I should say an actual damaging fighting type move that I can use whenever. And there's Force Bomb. Um, I'm gonna get rid of counter. gonna skip all these trainers for now and come back and do them later mainly because obviously right now we're getting another encounter opportunity and I just want to get into Horberg City before this episode ends because obviously that was the main plan of mine for this video besides you know getting all the encounters like hello Absol hi definitely want you, asshole, because I never, ever, ever get to use you. The only time I ever used Absol was during my first ever playthrough of Pokemon X. So please stay in the ball, Absol. And you're not going to stay in the ball, are you, Absol? Absol, please stay in the ball. Um, what a defense curl up. Just so this asshole can't do anything to my spiel. And so, two, the hail can just wither it down until I get lucky and catch the asshole. This thing is gonna be pretty, pretty good late game, and there we go, cool, asshole. See, what am I gonna call Absol? I'm gonna call it Legend, and obviously, where is where's my select button? There it is. I'm gonna call him Legend. So I, in honor of Legends Arceus, which again, like I said in earlier in the video, if you haven't uh, got it or you're thinking about getting it, I would definitely do so because it is. An amazing game, and definitely a top-notch entry into the Pokemon franchise. And I just absolutely hope that Pokemon Company or Game Freak continue to do what they did with Arceus. So obviously, would I mind going back to a game like Pearl? Obviously not. What I mean by this, not like obviously looking like this, I mean like mechanics of it. As obviously the mechanics of this game are very similar to Pokemon Sword and obviously uh, its predecessor, uh, no, not predecessor, successor, I should say, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl. Like, I mean, stuff like that. Not like having like full camera movement, being able to actually fight the Pokemon, and like Arceus and all that fun stuff, but you know what I mean. Alright, we are at. 25 minutes, so I'm gonna go up here and get one last encounter and hopefully get it. First, I'm gonna get the Master Ball here. 
But never mind, but I'm just gonna encounter whatever this is. And it's a Torkoal. Not the best fire type, but I mean, I'll take it. We got a freeze and a Torkoal. I think that is a good GG for Torkoal. <laughs> Should just be able to scoop him up with him. Okay, he doesn't want to be scooped up. Come on, Torkoal, just get in the Pokeball. You're frozen solid. Really, a Torkoal is going to cause me problems. Torkoal, are you seriously going to come? Thank you. Yes, I'm going to name him Freeze, because obviously we've got him frozen. Before I forget, let me check all the abilities of my, my newer Pokemon. And obviously I know you have Snow Warning, you have Minus, which kind of sucks. You have Anger Point, which is amazing, especially since you are an up and attack Lucario. That's good. Unaware. Okay, cool. And then Sand Bell. Kind of good, kind of bad. Max speed that could be used to sell for money. Pine code, another option, which meh. Four times weakness to fire once you do holes, so definitely I'm gonna miss me with that. Alright, 26 minutes. I'm going to heal up at the Pokemon Center and then just go heal. And then probably do one one final final. Encounter at the Orberg Mine. The Orberg Mine, and then I'll wrap up today's episode. Again, not the most exciting thing, but I mean, at least we got some battles in, we got some training, and obviously we're right up with Great Ball Perfect. And we are right outside the first gym. So, next episode we'll have a gym battle, finally. And encounter is a whooper. I'll catch him. I'll catch him just in case anything ever happens to my feel. I'll get him just in case I ever need a quagsire. Two, three, click. Alright, cool. I'm gonna name him two, because he'll obviously be the backup for number one, which is my spiel. Alrighty, and I do believe that will do it for today's episode. Obviously, once again, kind of all over the place because there's nothing much really going on just yet. Luckily, we are in the first town for the first gym, so we'll obviously be doing that next episode. Uh, I hope you guys get and play Legends Arceus. It is an amazing game, and obviously, if you do go and get it. I hope you enjoy it just as much as I have. But, uh, yeah. Next episode, we'll obviously be taking on the gym. So with that said, Shadow Venusing, I'll talk to you all later. I'm gonna go play some more Legends Arceus. Peace.